What's up guys, today we are checking out the One X GPU, which is the world's first portable eGPU with internal storage. So technically, this portable external GPU can be used on most PCs or laptops which support an external GPU, ideally with either Thunderbolt 3 or above, or even USB 4 Type-C ports are supported. You can pick up this base model, which I have here, at $699 US dollars, and there is no SSD storage included in the base model. Now, if you wanted one terabyte SSD included, that's 798, and the four terabyte version is 989 US dollars. Now, performance-wise, this has the AMD Radeon RX 7600M XT, which is a mobile upper mid-range graphics card based on the RDNA3 architecture with a six nanometer manufacturing process. You can expect core game clock speeds of 2300 megahertz and supporting up to 120 watt TDP and featuring 8 gigs of GDDR6 graphics memory. Design wise it's quite small and compact in size and it weighs no more than 869 grams. You have plenty of connectivity which I'm about to go through. So first of all we've got a gigabit LAN, two display ports, we've got two HDMI ports, we've got an Oculink, a USB-C 4.0, and power socket. Nothing on this side, just some ventilation, nothing on the other side. And on the front, you've got a physical power button. You've got two more buttons and two USB 3 type A ports. And on the back, you've got your SSD storage. It's covered by a magnetic panel, so you can just peel that off quite easily. And inside there is an SSD expansion slot, which supports a single M.2 2280 SSD, and that's PCIe 3.0. Now the benefit of having internal storage is you can store all your games directly to the hard drive. Now this external graphics card also has a built-in cooling system consisting of cooling fan, copper temperature plates, vacuum chamber and lots more. And inside the box you do have a user manual, Type-C to Type-C cable and a pretty beefy looking power supply included in the box. Now this eGPU also supports 300 watt charging and you've got 100 watt reverse charging. Now the first device I want to test this with is the One X Fly, which is a Windows handheld by the same company. So with the One X Fly handheld console plugged in, you can see the LED lights have become active and the second middle button over here is actually a turbo button. So that is to set it on 100 watts. If you select turbo, it will boost it up to 120 watts. And the third button is to change between the LED modes. If you want to connect your keyboard or mouse, you can just connect it directly to the external GPU. So my mouse and keyboard are now active. And if you connect an HDMI port, it will display out for you to the big screen. So I've got everything set up and connected up. I've got a game controller, a big screen is connected as well, HDMI. Okay, so we're going to play a game and the first one I want to test is WWE 2K23. So we're going to see what sort of frame rates we can achieve with this new GPU. And you can see at the top it says AMD Radon RX 7600M XT. We're going for highest graphics and we're basically max everything out to ultra and high. Okay, so everything is maxed out for this game. 1080p resolution. No one can deny that Severick Alexander is one heck of an athlete. But wow. lately, it's his intensity or perhaps over-enthusiasm that has been the topic of discussion. Since when is intensity or enthusiasm a bad thing? Especially in Cedric's case, as it's really helped him when it comes to the win loss column. We're getting 60 frames per second, guys. The game is playing amazing and looks absolutely beautiful. Now, to compare what happens if I disconnect this, let me show you. All right, and we're going to load up that same game. Everything else seems to be exactly the same. So, high, ultra, maxed out, everything is on. So exactly the same settings as we had on the external GPU. I'm going to go and try and play a game and we'll see the difference. Oh my God. You can see the difference, guys. Oh, shit. Let's check it out. It's basically, it's very unstable. So that should already give you an idea of what you can do. 
So games that you would normally play on this on medium to low settings, you'll be able to play on maximum graphic settings with this external GPU. Now another game that you can't play on maximum settings on this handheld is a Plague Tale. So Plague Tale is very graphically intense. If you try and play it on maximum settings, it's going to be uh, a pretty slow motion deal. Um, you have to play on pretty low graphics in order to play this game natively on this console. So let me show you an example without this plugged in. So here we go, Plague Tale. I've got the graphics set to 720p. Any higher is going to be unplayable, but I do want to prove this to you. So 1920 by 1080, apply resolution. I'm going to switch it to Ultra. I'm going to max it out just to show you what happens. 22 frames per second and it's a, it's a, it's a real mess. You can see it's, it's, I think it's going to crash on me. It's jumping from 6 frames per second to 23 frames per second. Um, not smooth, not consistent, but you can clearly see we are not achieving decent frame rates here. So the One X GPU is now plugged in. That everything is still maxed out, 1080p resolution. Scroll down, you can see everything is either on normal or on ultra. So if I just zoom in slightly, you can see 59 frames per second. If we just walk around a bit, 55 frames per second. The game looks like it's playing on a totally different system. But you can see it's much more playable than it was before. It was, it's more than playable now and it looks amazing. You can see the detail, you can see the graphics. So that is another great example of the performance of the One X GPU. So over here we have the One X Player One S. It's one of their slightly older models, although I really like the design of this thing. It's got a built-in kickstand, it's got a massive 8.4 inch screen. It's powered by an Intel Core i7 um, with Intel graphics. So it's definitely not able to play the newer games at decent frame rates. So we're gonna load up WWE 2K23. Now to play this game natively on this console, you're going to have to drop the graphics down to its lowest. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to max everything out. So texture quality high, model quality high, shadows are on, and everything else is going to be maxed out to either high or ultra. Okay, so you know already it's going to be very slow motion. Yeah, it's unplayable. It's slow motion at times it, when it drops below 30 frames per second, like there. So yeah, not entirely enjoyable. Looks good though. So Type-C port on the top, connected. Graphics settings first of all. So I'm just making sure everything is still on high and maxed out. And as you can see, it is. Reigns, as focused as ever here tonight. Reigns is only the most explosive superstar in the business today. Yeah, I've been in the Wow. Are you guys seeing this? Let's just turn the sound off. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Um, you really have to experience it to know how good it looks. Um, it looks stunning. 60 frames per second. And it plays great. Feels like a different console. It feels like I've upgraded the internal components. I actually can't believe that I'm playing this game. Maxed out graphics on my old One X player. It's, it's actually amazing. I'm going to pause it. I want to push that screen upwards and show you that we have HDMI connected as well. I should be able to play on the big screen. I'm just going to connect my controller. Look at this, guys. I'm playing 60 frames per second. WWE 2K23 on my old One X Player 1S. Maxed out graphics. So it's quite hard to believe that this is happening right now. <laughs> Amazing. This one is the Sur 6 Pro featuring the AMD Ryzen 7 with Radeon 680M integrated graphics. The 680M are quite outdated. You're now getting 780M in these type of mini PC, AMD powered mini PCs. You've got a USB 4 Type-C port on the front and it does support external GPUs. All right, so the first game we're testing with this mini PC is Undisputed. So the graphics settings are set to 1080p and everything is maxed out to Ultra. All right, so we're playing Undisputed. The graphics are maxed out, resolution is 1080p. And you can see we're achieving over 60 frames per second. Alright, 
eject and disconnected. So now the default graphics will kick in. So 1080p, everything is still on ultra and highest graphics. Let's go back. So you can see we're achieving around just under 30 frames per second. I would say around 30 to 35 frames per second max playing at 1080p resolution and the graphics maxed out with the internal graphics card of this mini PC, native graphics. So you can see it's playing okay. Just before this, we played with the external graphics card and you saw we were achieving more than double the frame rate. And I'm out. So there you have it guys, that was the One X GPU. Performance wise, it does exactly as it says on the tin. Expect an impressive boost to your gaming performance. It works on any laptop or Windows gaming handhelds that support Thunderbolt 3 or above. Now I did also test this on Windows PCs with USB 4 Type-C ports and they worked absolutely fine. Seeing that boost in gaming from my older device was certainly a satisfying experience. I could not believe the performance boost I was getting from this thing. In most cases offering more than double the gaming performance. Now the ability to display out via HDMI and DisplayPort is very useful and for convenience you also have a gigabit LAN and extra USB ports for your keyboards, mouse controllers etc. The 100 watt reverse charging means this eGPU can also charge your laptop or handheld at the same time whilst boosting its graphics. The internal storage slot is also another plus point giving you extra storage to store all your games. So bottom line, an external GPU offering versatility and a magnitude of features and power reviving and boosting your existing gaming experience and it's pretty future proof too now with all of that being said i hope you found this video useful if you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews hit the like button sub to the channel and hit the bell icon thank you so much for watching and i catch you all in the next one peace